Today we are going to look at how to put together my AK200 series conversion kit for Airsoft AKs. With Hangar that was used with some prototypes but also with the final version of this model. In my opinion it's much more better looking. But if you are a fan of the classic style handguard for AK200 series, you can download it for free from the free decal on Thingiverse. I already installed the purple stock and grip on my gun. Those are AK12 slash AK200 grip and stock. I also installed the new side block. In my hand you can see the prototype version of this part and I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to install this. It's pretty simple. You secure it on the gun using classic pin and also you will need a transfer gas tube blocking lever. In order to replicate leaf spring under the side you will need some heat source and heat this little lip and bend it upwards. By this you will make the part a bit springy, so the side will stay on place. Now we are going to look at something what I call the handguard lock. It's two part assembly around the barrel and this keep the upper part of the handguard on place. This is the reason why this solution is much more better for optics and scopes than classic style AK handguard. This assembly holds together using M4 screws. Now let's take a look on the upper handguard. To assemble this part you will need a small pin for 3D printed lever and also a small spring. This lever keeps the handguard in place and prevents it from sliding out from the mount. This is how the part should work. Also, I would almost forget there are two versions of this part, which is from the early prototypes and which is inspired the final production part. Now the gas tube. Again you have two options. First one is to print this wall gas tube or make a custom one to keep metal parts on a gun. The custom one is made from those two pieces. You need to cut out the U-shaped bracket and the joy these by special part you will need to print. After that you also add the end piece to make it work like any other gas tube. last thing to do is this little small groove. I don't remember the dimensions for it on top of my head, however they are noted in the description of the model on 3D Cult. Anyway, let's move on to the next step. And the next step is lower hand guard. On the hand guard we have two Picatinny rails. Those are secured by M4 screws and nuts. So now we put up a lower hand guard. This might be a little bit tricky. Yeah, here we go. And then we secure it as usual. Next thing is we slide the gas tube into the upper hand guard. Be aware of that small lever. Now slide it somewhere in half and put it in the mount. The rails on the mount 
and on the apparent guard have to match this also may take you some time as it did to me when it's on place you slide it in the position and let the small lever lock into the cutout we did on the gas tube then you secure the whole gas tube and handguard assembly by gas tube lever on a side block now the handguard part is done let's move to the dust cover Like with the AK-12, we have Picatinny rail on top of the dust cover, which is secured by the screws. You can use rivets, glue, whatever you trust in, and use the glue and then secure it by screws. Now we have here a cover that covers the hole for dust cover button. Be careful with the next operations. It will require your time and patience in order to make it work correctly. Side lever will be printed flat and again under the heat it will be bent to this shape in order to make it stronger. Before you secure the cover on the back of the dust cover, you will need to drill a hole for the lever. The hole I'm showing you right now is not necessary it's here just in order to keep the lever on place through the hole for the lever you will put a small pin and on that one side you will glue set lever and on the inside you will glue a little circle which will act like a cam since this is the permanent solution be careful what are you doing and glue it together stiff so it wouldn't move around by itself. In my case I made a small detention pin for said detention hole. This is optional but I found it work in my case pretty well. Lip on a dust cover will engage with this little slider that replaces classic AK dust cover button. Also the cam on dust cover level will engage with this notch and move the slider forward and back this will lock dust cover in position. Make sure there is enough space for your charging handle assembly to move forward enough. In my case there is a small hole in the receiver for the guiding rod of the charging handle. So I do have enough of space. Also you can see a small black spacer on the spring and guiding rod to keep tension on a charging handle. By playing with those or using a stronger spring you can compensate missing movement freedom caused by your receiver not having that hole for guiding rod. Please keep in mind that with different OEMs and different parts this whole assembly will need some love from your side in order to make it work correctly. I can guarantee this will work out of the box and you will need to do some fitting on those parts. Now let's put on the dust cover. You might already noticed on top of the dust cover there is a cut under the angle so the dust cover wouldn't collide with the new side block. The dust cover is connected to the side block using a pin. The final step is moving the slider forward then you close the dust cover and lock it by dust cover lever. On my first try I forgot to move the lever into the open position. Now the assembly is complete and you've converted your AK-74 into the AK-200 series with actually steady dust cover. I will say it again one more time 
before you glue anything or cut any holes make sure everything sits together correctly and there is no play within those parts I thank you for watching this video and choosing this conversion kit if you did if you found any problems or you are not sure how to proceed during the assembly let me know under this video and see ya in the next work of mine